Asana has some great features for working in a team. Live groups can be created to live import in Katana nodes from a different Katana graph and into your graph. Live groups can be edited and synced up on either end. So what I'm going to do with our scene here is demonstrate some, some ideas or some uses for well, basic uses for live groups. So you get the idea. So this is our basic forest scene we've put together following on from the graph state variables video. Um, but I've done a few things. I've detached my material group. I've gotten rid of my whole material section and I've uh, moved out my character Alembic in node here. So I want you to imagine that we're working with a character artist on this job and your job is to you know light the scene and bring in the data, light the scene, maybe render out the shots. What we can do with the character and look dev for the character stuff is hand that off to someone else at a very early stage of the pipeline. They can set up a base which you can start lighting and working with and they the character team and you can work concurrently and it all works together. So if we get all the if we get the Alembic cache and the material network for the uh, for the character, maybe including the material assign as well. So we might actually create just a new one of those here, just to demonstrate, and we'll call that character ma, and connect all these together, and merge into here, and then we group them up. So what we can do with a normal group, control G. So what this can do is, uh, let's just call this character um, uh, group. And what we can do with this group is we can go right click, convert to live group. And it gets this yellow lightning bolt here. So what we're doing now, it's, it's upgraded this group into what's called a live group. So what we can do with this is right click and we've got some new options now. We can load, revert, publish, publish and finishing editing contents or convert it back to a normal old group. So we'll just connect this uh, live group by grabbing the last node here and uh, plugging it into a merge in our scene in area. So we can go publish and this will open up a window which I can save a dot live group file so if I go uh, grub um, live group v1 something uh, I now have uh, some attributes over here that tells me where it's sourcing the live group from and that file is being read in I can go finish editing contents publish and finishing editing contents, overwrite. So now the yellow lightning bolt has gone away and it's grey and all these nodes are locked. So as the character artist gives you data you might just get this all locked off. You can still work with it exactly the same as before. You'll be able to see it in your scene and edit it uh, but the nodes are locked off and safe. If we want to edit that node, we can go edit contents and we can now edit it. So it's a, a checking out and submitting sort of system, but one that can be used more casually for casual collaboration or, uh, or officially as, as part of a pipeline, whereas you can group up things, pass them off and hand them back and forth. If we want to have a new Katana graph, so let's say I've got a completely new graph I'm working with. Make my render man base that I showed at the start of this video series. And then I can go file, import live group. I can find that live group and bring it in and place it in my node. So this is the way that those the two Katana files that we're working with, I haven't saved this one yet. Uh, but this one is working with exactly the same data and exactly the same uh, notes. So we've got the, the grub material here, we've got in the same location, we've got a grub, but he's in a new scene now. So when 
people are working in the other scene on a different machine and we need to reload it, you can right click, reload and it will just update that data. So very powerful use of live groups back and forth in Katana.